Hey guys, welcome to Kai's Chaos, where I play games and, well, the games play. Um. guys welcome back to kai tober um yeah um while i'm talking about the game because um kai forgot to mention what the game was while i'm talking about that if you guys can go subscribe and take part of kai tober and if you want to take part in the giveaway the rules are in the description box below but today we're going to be playing don't open your eyes so enjoy don't open your eyes what's the options looking like tech speed okay It's getting late. My eyelids have begun to feel heavy. I better go to sleep. I leave aside the book I've been reading and look out my window. The process of falling asleep is always a struggle against noise. It's funny because I need noise to go to sleep. Like, I need it. If I don't have it, the mind just goes crazy. But everybody I know doesn't feel the same way. So if you guys feel the same way, leave a comment down below if you can actually go to sleep with noise if it's opposite for you because i literally can't go to sleep in silence like i can't barking dogs police sirens or even my own intrusive thoughts but not even the turning gears in my brain are producing much sound tonight's just oddly quiet i hear crickets quiet too quiet no that yeah that better be me. That better be me. Shit! See, I can't speak English. I'm so scared. Oh my god. Uh, ugh, I feel restless. My sight veers towards the hallway outside my door. The distance between my room and the opposite wall is only ten steps long. I know, since I made a habit of counting them whenever I go out. Why are you counting your steps? One, two, three, absentmindedly, but always. Oh, okay, cool. I don't know why. Maybe because she knew what's about to happen is about to happen and she's ready to like, oh, uh, maybe I just like being aware of my surroundings to the smallest details, which is amazing. That's actually pretty good. But tonight is different. The hallway looks like it stretches into nothing. It's like the throat of a gar gaunt one beast. Gaunt whatever the freak. Logical thinking cries that it's just my imagination. There can't be anything wrong or different about it. It's just the hallway. But... I don't want to look at it. Child, me neither. So I take a deep breath and close my eyes. Yeah, go ahead. Close your eyes. Uh-huh. I was waiting for something to pop off. In my room. Here you can see. There's a bed. In my room. What? There's a wardrobe. In my room. There's a wall. There's pictures framed on the wall. My room is a part of myself. It's a world I know like the back of my hand. Where someone to blindfold me and ask me my, to find my way around, I'll do so without the slightest difficulty. As long as nothing changes, having my eyes closed makes no difference. They must be scared of the dark. They should get a nightlight. I'm just saying. In this room, I can always find what I want to find. Because in this room, I know how everything looks. I need to wake up early tomorrow. I should really try to sleep. Hello? Oh, hey, no. Uh-uh. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Lock it. Go out the window. What's that sound? Girl, close the door. Open your freaking eyes. Are those footsteps? Yes. Girl. Uh, I don't know if it's girl or guy, bro. I just be saying girl, guy. It really depends. No, that's impossible. It must be my mother freaking imagination. Stupido. 
but it's getting closer and closer. But it's making my nose twitch and closer and closer. So can you close the, you, they're gone. Right, there's no way someone could be here. She's so dumb, bro. She's so dumb. No, 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 I'm clocking out. I'm clocking out, bro. I'm, I'm, I... No, no, if somebody was that close and I, I can hear your breath in my ear, I'm not opening my eyes, bro. It's too late. It's too late. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Do I open my eyes? No, I'm dead. It don't matter. I had to open my eyes. Open your eyes. No! Look at me. Low key though, his voice kind of sound a little. <laughs> Get a little husk and mellow. Look at me. Developer, if you're the voice of this guy, I'm just saying. <laughs> I do my best to ignore the voice. Why won't you look at me? I'm just saying, he sound cute, you can't lie. Where are your manners? Oh, bro, because you look like something from freaking, I don't even know. It looks like he's something from uh, Sweet Home. I forgot, bro, give it a little second. If a stranger asks for help, is it right to ignore them? It really depends, though, man. Is that how it is? Why are you in my house? If you need help, you could have not. You could have not. You just let yourself in here. Ain't nobody give you permission. Child, I can feel someone breathing over my ear. Oh, heck no. You crazy as free. You crazy. You crazy. If you don't get your nasty, musky, hot breath off my ear. Yeah, you're crazy. It's cold. I will share a secret with you. <laughs> Bro, no, I couldn't be in this situation. I have never seen myself before. And I have not seen you, so please don't kill me. I didn't see your face. I don't know what you look like, bro. Just leave, bro. Just leave. I won't tell nobody. I might move. If you come back, I might be gone, but I didn't tell nobody. Though. I just ran from you. I don't know if my face is ugly. About that body frame? I'm sorry. To, I'm sorry to tell you. I'm sorry. I had to be the one to tell you. I'm sorry. I don't know the color of my skin. You don't need to know. It's for your own good. Okay. I don't know if I'm even here. That is why I need you to open your eyes. Oh, he sounds so desperate. So you can tell me how I look. No. But I'm also shy. So I might hide the moment you do. You won't find me anywhere, and soon, you will forget. So why do you want me to look at you if you're not going to be there, you weirdo? Like a faded dream. I know you're not asleep. Yes, I am. You listen with those tiny ears of yours. Tiny? How big are yours? They look so fragile. Well, what type of game is this, bro? Are we, like, entering that little, like, monster, like, the beast and beauty type stuff? Like... You know what I'm talking about, like, Beast and Beauty webtoon or something like that, and I fall in love with him, because why he sound like that, like, <laughs> you're so fragile. I sound like a steamy novel, I'm just saying. Look, I could almost grab them. What is caressing my ear? Put my fingers around them. I feel so violated. And tear them off. Oh, okay, it's not a steamy novel, bro, he... If I do, will you scream? Scream? No. No, I won't scream. You're just tearing off a part of my body. Of course I won't scream, bro. I have no pain receptors in my ear. Will I hear your voice? 
now it's back to steamy novel. I'm getting like or steamy, or steamy, or steamy. It was a joke. That wasn't a good I'm joking. Don't be scared. Terrified. Hey. What? How do you think my eyes look? Like your eyes? When our cases finally meet. What will you find? Eye sockets. Answer me. I did. I'm gonna say lost, because how he's talking to me. Lost. They look lost. Oh, wait a minute. Is he dumb? I'd have been like, how would you know? You didn't even open your eyes yet. You're stupid. Oh, that was okay. I'm sorry. That may be so. I am never sure of where I am. I don't know. Now I'm getting like a sad look. A sad My days look. consist of wandering about aimlessly, searching for something. I worry that if I'm not paying attention, what I'm searching for will slip away. The thought terrifies me. It terrifies me so much. So I always keep my eyes peeled. Even if there's nothing to see. That way, nothing will slip away. Is this my subconscious? No matter where it goes. And no matter where it hides. No matter how terrifying the world might be. No matter the countless terrible things I witness by mistake in the process. Well, it's always no matter what. I will never blink. I will forever be confused by the worlds around me. I will forever be... lost. But what is that something that I'm searching for? I don't know. What are you asking me, bro? I'm just trying to go to sleep. I gotta, I gotta go to work in the morning. It's been so long since my wandering began. I can no longer recall the feelings that drove me to it. What is it? Is it something I can hold? Don't is it a being of flesh and bones? Dude, are you going on a monologue right now? Is it nearby? I don't know. Ask your mom. Is it you? No, it's not me. Hey. Light! Have you ever looked so fervently for something that you end up losing yourself in the process? My freaking car keys. Have you? Yes. Car keys. These are yes. a good answer. Yet there is only one way to know the truth. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. No. So you won't look at me. I can't, bro. Even though your eyes are so pretty. How can you see my I eyes? I can't see them. But I can imagine them behind their veil of flesh. Oh my now god. Like pearls and shiny like jewels. So, so pretty. <sighs> Ugh. It's fine. We still have time. No, we don't. I got the word. Are you going to call out for me? Dang. And silent. Bro, let me get comfortable. Hope y'all getting comfortable. I feel like I'm reading y'all a bedtime story. People are good at closing their doors. Do you know what a door is? No. Of course you know. You have one, right there, at the verge of your little world. A door is a barrier to keep the bad out. The bad can be anything. A bad person, a bad smell, and sometimes, me. Sometimes, all the time. I can't huh? open doors. Oh, so you're telling me if this girl would have listened to me and closed her door? He wouldn't be in here right now? Huh. Huh. I find them tricky. Mm. Should I push or pull? Be both. Should I turn the knob left or right? Be Should both. I try to take it off its inches? Don't do that, because you're not going to pay for the repairman fee, bro. Should I chip away at it, hoping it will fall apart? Yeah, it's not time to escape. And what happens? It opens. I won't be here. Do I close it behind me? Don't matter. Do I keep it open? Don't 
don't matter. But that might be rude to the person who had it closed. Yeah. But then, how do I get out? Go through the whole thing again. And what happens if the wind pushes it close? What then? So this many so options. Crazy. I'm not lie. This is crazy. So many things I could go wrong. Whenever I stand in front of a closed door, it paralyzes me. I stare at it for a long time and think of my excuses because that's all they are. What bothers me the most about closed doors is the idea they exist to keep me out. It fills me with the need to go in. So I search for a crevice or a window. Anything that might be open. Not lie those out for a little bit. Anything that might let me in. I'm not good with doors. You said that already. But as long as there's a place where I can fit, then I can go in anywhere. Every night, I hop across the shadows of the streets. That's I'm terrifying. careful so as to not be caught by the light. This is why I have a nightlight. You heard he just said, if we get a nightlight and close our door, we will not be in this predicament. In my eternal search, I pick a place where to rest. I slip in and spend the night wherever is comfortable without alerting anyone. Usually okay. it's a cellar, an attic. Okay. I feel at home there. But sometimes, just sometimes, an urge swells inside of me. What? Swells where? The urge to be seen. Oh, okay. So I search hard for a door that's open. For an entryway covered in darkness. And for someone to be at the other end. Awake. Bro, this character's so As if expecting me. But you won't look at me. I don't want to. Even though you had your door open for visitors. She sure did. Why is that? Yeah. Are you afraid? Afraid of what? What is she afraid of? By leaving her door open. Do I? Scare you? Yes! No. That can't be it. It is! We have been chatting for so long. You've been yapping, bro! I've just been sitting here trying not to die! You haven't chased me out. Bro. That means you welcome me. I'm getting. I'm getting. When they be blaming, like, you know, woman victims of certain crimes, and they be like, well, you were wearing that outfit. You were asking for it. You welcomed me. Bro, get out of here. So I'm certain that if I were to reach out my hand, you would reciprocate and grasp it. No. I'm sure your hands are warm. No. So very warm. Because people are always warm. Because we got something called blood flowing through our veins, bro. How do my hands look? My warmth finally meets yours. I want you to have what warmth. Feel. Answer me. No. Uh, I'm gonna say tired. They look tired. That actually fits him. That not may be so. I think I think we're gonna stick with this. These fingers of mine have touched so many things. They are always stretching forwards, reaching out for something. The tip of my finger yeah, stands these are over the surfaces bro. that I travel, and their sensations reach the core of my brain, be it the softness of the first spring flowers. Before we start, um, this is a great little time to use the bathroom, so I'll wait, and then while you use the bathroom, make sure you take a sip of water before you use the bathroom. You know, you can get you a snack too, get a little munchy munch. Go ahead. Get you some munchy munch. Ooh, some ooh, some hot munchy sounds so good right now. Or hot fries. I just love hot chips. Uh, cause you know there's no commercial breaks in my uh <laughs> in my episode of the Kai Tober, there's no commercial breaks, so you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, so Yep, I'm still here. You still got time. I'm gonna give you another like three seconds though, so you might want to flush, wash your hands, and hurry on up. Come on. All right, press and play. You might want to rewind because I think you missed them. You missed a little. No matter the time of day, no matter if I'm awake or asleep, as if they had a mind of their own, even now they clutch onto the fabric of your bed sheets. Don't they be clutching my bed sheets. 
my pet sheets, but these are new. Intertwined with each other. I don't want your dirt on your nails. Get on my stuff. The muscle of fabric nails. against fabric of skin against skin is. Do y'all see where I'm getting a steamy novel here? Like I'm telling you, I really think I got the wrong job. They want more. Bro, keep your fingers to yourself. We don't. Uh -uh. They yeah. want to feel closer. To have it between them and around them more and more and more. <laughs> Sometimes, however, they can reach as far as they'd like. That's when I lend a hand. I take over and stretch, stretch. Stretch. Kyla, uh, or Hyla, the um, title of this video should be like, Bro, pause! And then do a good thumbnail to accompany it. Okay. And they grow. Maybe just the length of a fingernail every time. But they grow. Just so they can reach out, clutch what they want, and then throw it aside, discard it. And forgotten. That's why they are tired. Mm -mm. Because they never stop seeking. And most likely, never will. Hey, have you ever stretched your fingers to grab a hold of something important? Only to learn that it's been long out of your grasp. Have you? These hands are these. My hands. Yes. A good answer. Yeah, we're sticking with one answer. And we're gonna keep going, there's bro. There's only one way to know the truth. Open your, your eyes. eyes. No. So you won't look at me. No. Even though my hands could be the same as yours. Bro, do you see your hands? Think about it. No. Maybe you and I are similar. No. No. I know we are. No, we're not. I can feel it in my skin. Well, I don't trust your skin. I don't think you're a human. Oh. Can you hear it? Yes. My skin is... Bro, how close sick. are you where I can hear your heartbeat? It has been long since this happened. It's a sign the skin of my is emotions flowing out. Okay. Wanting to be seen. I'll be satisfied as long as someone tells me how I look. But it's not like anyone will do. Bro, don't try to raise me up, bro, okay? Cause it's not working. If it did, then it would be oh so easy. Since I could show myself to everyone at once. Every living person in this land. And ask them all the same question. Which is? Someone will answer. There's no doubt about it. But it might no, not no, be no, the no, answer no, I no, wish no, for. No. Since I don't want to be judged, I don't want to be perceived as something I'm not. Okay. It scares me. That is why when someone is on the verge of looking at me, I shy away. Mm. I hide, fading into the dark. But you might be different. No. If it's you, it might be possible to stand still, if only for a second. That way you can help me, and we can both be fulfilled. Uh, just thinking about it, it makes me feel. feel. That better be a heart. Something. I cannot describe it. I am not good. With words. There was a person in my past who taught me to speak like a person. They were not oh, good at it either. He, beat, bro? he got hoes. You can't tell me he don't. Cause what is he and talking about? Back on it, they certainly didn't enjoy oh, so it. One person told me this, one person told me that. To teach a wordless being how to talk must be a challenge. Yet, they did. Oh, that's nice. Simply so because they could. 
It is weird to remember, because it makes me think of why I want to be seen, and I am not. Sure, I don't care much for my appearance. I don't want to be judged. But if that were it, I could easily stay out of sight. So why is it? Why do I want someone to recognize me so much? I don't know. Maybe it's only because I can. Because everyone gets to be recognized. But me. Oh, man. But I will. Okay. Soon. Not with me. Once you open your eyes. That's not happening, bro. Keep going. There it is again. Just thinking about the moment you unveil your sight onto me. No. And you finally take those bed sheets off your body. Bro! <laughs> trying to get in my pants. You can't tell me he not. And you inspect every crevice of mine. Bro, all right, bro. We're done here. We're done. There's children watching, bro. There's children! And you finally, finally, finally open those tight lips of yours. Ooh, go take it, uh, go to, uh, um, go take it, um, go. For your name. Ooh, my head. This is too much. This is messing with me, bro. What? It makes me feel. But I don't ate know with what. this. I'm not gonna lie. The developers ate with this game. Like, Surely oh my god, this is evident. really messing with my head. If you were to look at my face, hey, what does my expression look like? All right, we got you. When that fell of uncertainty finally disappears, what will we convey to each other? Answer me. Wait a minute. Didn't he say I want to I want you to open those lips of yours? Aren't I talking to him right now? I'm going with the smile will creep me out. I'm not gonna lie. Emotionless stare. Because he sounds just so Yeah, emotionless stare. An emotionless stare. Yep, that fits you, bro. I think I got it, I'm just saying. That may be so. Expressions are difficult. Yes, bro, I know you don't know. They require one's face to contort in many different ways. I am not capable of that. Are we creating our own monster? Is this our thoughts in our head and we're creating a monster in our own head? I'm just Everything saying. about me is stiff. From the way I walk, to the way I talk, to the way I feel. It is something I noticed well, uh, so, long hey, ago. Uh, uh, so. I may hurt and I may grow, but I do not change. Not in the way other people do. Mm. People interact with each other. Mm -hmm. They form connections. They experience thrills. A person becomes someone different with each passing second. Wow, that's Turning crazy. old and perishing. I felt that. However, I don't think I'm capable of any of those things. My journey began long ago, longer than any person has ever journeyed. Mm. And in my life, I have seen others born and die. That is born sad. And die. A person's existence is so fleeting. And yet, so many things happen to them. So many worthwhile memories. It is something I lack. Were I to write a book, I could not fill a single page. It's not for the lack of memories, but rather because these memories mean nothing to me, save for a minuscule number. They are all the same, blending with each other into a mottled gray, lacking the meaning people often give. To perhaps, if someone else had left what I had, they would see meaning. They would treasure it, but I cannot. No matter how I try, I can't see any worth in what I do. And by extension, in what I am, I want for someone to tell me how I look. Yet, I don't see that as important. So no why? one but me would care. So why should I care? But that doesn't mean I have never felt. I feel things. Joy. 
sorrow, fear. But you're not. I am always feeling, and right now. Right now. I am feeling strongly. That better. I'm telling you, that better be his heart. It's so here serious. in my pulsating skin. You say my expression is emotionless. That it shows nothing. And if you say so, it must be true. But soon you will see something. Mm -mm. Because what I'm feeling is not nothing. Hey, have you ever masked yourself with indifference? Only to hide the overwhelming emotions hiding beneath? Yes. And I know everybody's watching. I know you guys felt that too, bro. I know you did, because there's times where you literally can't show emotion. There's just sometimes a lot of you. it sucks. This expression is this my expression. Yes. I see. Thank you. You're you welcome. have truly helped me tonight. I got These you. are my eyes. These are my hands. And this is my expression. I consider these my most treasured features. Mm -hmm. And you have helped me picture them all. You're welcome. No one has done this for me. You're welcome. I feel a connection with you. Just let me live. One born out of honest gratitude. Mm -hmm. But there's one step left. Open your eyes. You need to make sure of the truth. No. It is the only way to finally understand each other. Please. So please. I beg of you. Don't talk to me in that voice of yours like, like, boy, ah, oh, this voice. It's just, ah, ah, let me stop. Open your eyes. No. No. No, man, I'm sorry. I see. I'm sorry. I understand. Thank no, you. it's fine. Thank you. You have still helped me by answering my questions. You're welcome. No one has done that for me before. Thank so you. I have no right to ask for anything else. Please leave. Respectfully. No. That is a lie. Ever since I stepped into this room. I knew it. <laughs> you have refused to engage with me. Not even once. Not even once, 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 not even once. Did you open your eyes? Not even once. Did you look at my face? You stayed there, acting as if you were asleep. So, how what was I answering your questions? I wasn't acting. I'm just scared of you, big head. Feigning ignorance and not moving an inch. At times making me believe that our conversation was just in my head. You haven't opened your mouth. But you didn't need to. I can hear far, far beyond what most others can. And I can see further than what others would consider the dark, empty bottom. That's why I know that I wasn't wrong. You are like me. We are the same. You two, look for what's not there. That is actually You true. two, reach out for what might hurt you. And you two are a liar. The type that shows one thing and feels another. This is so deep. But you made a mistake. What was it? I know you're lying. Because every answer you've given me so far has been wrong. I am not what you said I am. These eyes, these hands, this expression. Mm -hmm. They aren't mine. So what is it? Maybe they are yours. But I do not care. Not anymore. Open your eyes. I didn't want to be judged. I didn't want to be perceived for something what? I'm not. And that's all you did. So now, you will open your eyes. That is so crazy. And see me for what I truly am. You said so. Remember? 
No, I didn't. That in this room, you know how everything looks. It was those words that brought me here. So you have to, you have to do right by that which you claimed. It is time. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Oh, he's so, oh, I'm so sorry. He's making me sad. Why am I sad for somebody who's about to kill me? <laughs> no, I've go I'm gonna die. Why? No, no, I'm sticking with it. You had your chance. I don't care. It's not up to you anymore. He's gonna bring my eyes open. You won't open your eyes. I will. The pressure on my skull is unbearable. I hear something shatter. Ah, uh, your eyes are as beautiful as I imagined. Tell me, my new friend, what do you see? Back up. I want to answer, but they grabbed onto my head and won't let me talk. But what I see, what I see is... That won't do. Open your eyes. Bro. Open them. Are you? Open them now. Open, open, open. Open, open, open. Bro! Calm down! Oh no. You broke me. It seems I did it again. You can't see anymore, right? You can't talk anymore, right? You can't think anymore, right? I brought that we had some. I'm not gonna lie, I really thought we had some. Like, I felt a connection there, and this, this is why I don't love. This is why. That's why right there. See? Get, wow. Wow. Then, this is farewell. He killed me, bro. Thank you for trying, friend. Even I, though you are a liar. You're a liar. I leave this piece of myself <laughs> here with you. Shut up. <laughs> I'm so mad. I must go. Shut up, bro. I must look for the right person. I don't care. Someone who can tell me how I look. I don't care. Someone who can explain to me Shut up. why everyone looks like that when they do. When they look at him? <laughs> oh my god. This man mutilated me. I thought we had a connection. I thought we were to fall in love, but no. No. There's something in my hand. It's what they left behind. Dookie? Did they literally dookie in my hand? What is it? It was important. Your heart? I don't want you to bet. I don't want you to bet. But I can no longer open my eyes. That was freaking good. The writing. Who did it? Who's acting? Voice acting, they had to see who was voice acting. Call me up, bro. <laughs> that was amazing. Absolutely amazing. You guys ate with that. You guys freaking ate. That's gotta be one of my favorite episodes of Kite Tover. That was that was so deep. It was deep and different. The writing, like all of it was amazing, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow for the next game. Thank you so much for tuning in to Kite Tober 31 Days of Terror with the Sprinkle of Chaos. Alright, guys. This is